Hey everyone, we're going to prove triangles similar by the side 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 and side angle side similarity theorem. And we have just definitions and examples. So we get started. The first one is a theorem side 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 similarity theorem. And it states if the corresponding side lengths of two triangles are proportional, then the triangles are similar. So if AB to RS equals these proportions here, then the triangles would be similar. Um, so what we want to do is use an example. And when you're comparing um, uh, triangles, you want to first compare the shortest sides to the, uh, together, then the longer sides, then the, the other sides. So let's look at the first one. We want to uh, compare A, B, C to D, E, F. So these two. Well, the two shortest sides are 8 and 4. So that's A, B. And this one is D, E. And that is 8 to 4. That gives you 2. And so forth. And you can keep the next sides, that, the larger sides would be uh, 12 and 8. So when you do that one, um, you get this number, and then the remaining sides, you get this. But since the um, ratios are not equal, that means the triangles are not similar. So let's do the last one. And we're going to do the shortest sides, the longest sides, and the remaining sides. And when you do th compare those links, um, they all have the same proportion, which is one half, which is a, basically the scale factor. That means all ratios are equal, so the two triangles are uh, similar. Let's look at this example. Uh, we want to find um, X, so um, since the triangles look similar, I'm going to look at my known sides and look at 4 to 10. And uh, I have this uh, X here in 20, so the 4 goes with that. So I'm going to write X minus 3 divided by 20. Cross multiply, you get 20 times 4 divided by 10 equals x minus 3. Well, 10 goes into 22 times, so 2 times 4 is 8, gives you x minus 3. Add uh, 3 to both sides, and you get x equals 11. And then what you do is you plug back 11 into the original triangles and check to see, um, check for proportionality. So DF would be 25. Um, and if I plug in X back into here, um, 11 minus 3 would be 8. So this would be 8. And when you check it all out, um, you can see that they're proportional. All right. They're similar by the side, side, side similarity theorem. All right. It says, which of the three triangles are similar? So you have to set up all proportions. And since this is more informational, let's just look and see why this is true. We have PQ. So uh, we're taking PQ to ZX. So PQ is 45, and ZX is, where is ZX? 27. Divide, uh, reduce these both by 9. 45 divided by 9 is 5, and 27 divided by 9 is 3. So they all should be that way. So now let's try QR. Um, with XY. So QR is 30 and XY is 18 
and you can divide both of those by 3 or let's try 6 and that gives you 5 thirds. You're just dividing both of these numbers by 6, reducing it. And then the last one, we'll do PR with um, ZY. So PR is 35 and uh, ZY is 21. Divide both of those by 7. So divide by 7, the numerator and the denominator, and that gives you 5 thirds. So that's why they're similar. Um, this one's not. So it says, suppose this is not given. So suppose that 38 is not here. So what I'm going to do is, what length would it, uh, for AB, would it make for ABC to be similar to angle QRP? So we want them to be the same proportion. So I'm going to do 54 to 27. So I'm doing this one. Or you could do this one. It doesn't matter. Let's do this one. Should equal uh, X to 18. All right. And so... Um, I can reduce this by 9. So let's reduce that by 9. Um, if you divide both the numerator by 9 and the denominator by 9, you get 6. Uh, oh, so this is going to be 2. Because 54 divided by 27 is 2. Or you can say 2 over 1 equals x divided by 18. And you cross up here, and that gives you 36 equals your X, or in our case, that's your AB here, all right? And here's your side angle side similarity theorem. Um, it says that if an angle of one triangle is congruent to an angle of a second triangle, then the lengths of the sides, including the angles, are proportional. Then the triangles are similar. And we have uh, triangle similarity postulates and theorems here. And so we've already done um, this one and this one. And the other one is angle angle. And that states if angle A is congruent to angle D and angle B is congruent to angle E, then uh, the triangles are similar as well. So um, here's an example. So um, if we want to uh, use a method to show that the triangles are similar, we could uh, find the ratios of the lengths of the corresponding sides by looking at the shorter sides and then the longer sides. And then the corresponding side lengths are going to be proportional. The included angles... Um, R and right here are also congruent because of the vertical angles theorem. So the triangles are uh, similar based off angle, side, angle. So basically you have angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle. That means they're similar though. All right, not congruent. And here's another one here. Um, also, it helps to uh, redraw, whoops, sorry, redraw the triangles like it says here. And we did in a previous problem to help us um, orientate ourselves better when we're doing the problems. And so this one, show the corresponding side links are proportional. And then just use that. So I would, on this one, I would... Um, just draw it out. So you would write 49, 28, 56. And then I would draw this again. But this way. And separate them out. So this would be 28, 16. 
and 32. So we have three sides show that they're proportional and then um, then you have it. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.